Ah, it's only rain? Rain. Rain. And how do you, um, when you sew? Like this? Like this, you sew? Tef? Tef. Tef. Like this? This one? No. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Like this? <laughs> Not like this? No. Like this. Okay. These farmers are scattering tomato seeds from last year's crop. They can never be sure of what they will get. In the fields in Ethiopia, disease destroyed some of the plants, chewed up their leaves, and ruined their tomatoes. Until now, Nuri has only used traditional farming methods. When you work as hard as he does, it's not surprising that he's willing to try a new idea. Shoshan comes from a kibbutz farming community in Israel. בקיבוץ, הנושא הזה של גם שוויון בין האנשים וגם העזרה הדדית או התמיכה ההדדית, אם, אם אתה נופל, יש לך רשת שמחזיקה אותך, ואם מישהו אחר נופל, אתה מחזיק אותו. התפיסה הזאת השפיעה מאוד על היכולת שלי לראות את הפרויקט ולקפוץ אה, לעשות אותו. She's doing something for our region that nobody has ever done before. For two years, her staff tested many varieties of tomato seeds until they figured out what would grow best in our local soil and weather and unpredictable condition. These three kinds of seeds will now be tested by Nuri and about 20 other farmers. For the first time, they'll plant seeds developed for their needs and not for somebody else's. Will Shoshan seeds turn out better than the old seeds? Two months from now, when the tomatoes ripen, we will find out. After all his hard work and big hopes, Nuri's field is blooming. One of the new tomato seeds has brought spectacular results. Nuri and the rest of his group have more tomatoes than they ever had before. They are eager to get them to the market as fast as they can. By the end of the week, all the tomato plants in the region were picked. But Nuri and the other farmers in his group are still harvesting. 
Next week, they will be the only ones with tomatoes in the market. Their plants will give fruit for weeks to come.